Hi guys, we are Daniel and Cap. What is going on here? And we've been playing co-op games for many many years and we thought why not broadcast the games, review them, give some tips and advice to tell you which games you should play and which games you shouldn't play. So let's get into it. Hi guys, so this will gonna be our final review of Far Cry 5. We've been playing it now for some time and we think now is the time to dig deep and talk about what we think about the game. So, Cal, what do we start with? Welcome, welcome back guys. So, we thought about giving some ratings. Um, we made our minds up, so we're going to just talk about that. We start about the graphics. What do we think yeah. about the graphics of the game? That's a good question. Uh, I think I think we both can say that uh, graphics were stunning, especially when you're, for example, just driving around in a car or a bike or something. You just stop and just look around, and it's mountains at the mountains at the mountains, which I thought it just looks stunning. Absolutely agree, and you can see for so many landscapes, and it's it's, it's massive the game and. Uh... Like you can stand on a mountain and you can see like the other side of the map, pretty yeah, clearly in in good yeah. graphics. That's that's yeah. an amazing thing, and you can just get a helicopter and go to the other side. So it's pretty mm. complete. Everything from the water as well. You can dive oh. under the the water. The animals Fish. look nice. <laughs> the animals. <laughs> the animals look really yeah. nice. The, the bears could actually scare you. The graphics. Huh? I said the bear. The bears could actually scare you sometimes. They you do. Just they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Even the small ones. What are the stinky ones called? A, a skunk. 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 Yeah. Oh, skunk. Yeah. I hate skunks. Yeah. yeah, so this game came out in 2018, in March. So, you know, it's three years old and considering. It's okay graphics. Yeah, I think, it, I think it definitely stands up um, still. And it's very, very good graphics. The, the, the shooting, the weapons, the action-wise, when it comes to graphic explosions, all seem very... Yeah. Very realistic sometimes, especially because you're shooting, for, uh, playing from a first-person shooter, so it can look like you're literally there. It feels uh, more, more realistic than many other games that I've played for a long time uh, in that sense. Yeah. So I, I definitely like the graphics a lot. Yeah, I agree. So what so, do you think? Uh, like, what would you? Like, what would you? What would you? Uh, what would you give it in rating out of five? That's, that's, that's a question, isn't it? It's a big question. I'm gonna give it uh, four and a half out of five. I'll give it, just because I have played a few other games, which is are not co-op obviously, but uh, I'm just trying to compare it with other games that I've played. And I would say, mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you take The Last of Us, which is a 5 out of 5. I the would graphics as well, indeed. Yeah. But is it that big? Does it cover yeah. like mountains? And... Yeah, it's massive. It, it's, 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 a a massive shape, it's a massive landscape, uh, not landscape, but more like city. Wise and it's it's okay. graphic. The, the skin of the people look more realistic. I would say yeah. if you compare the Last of Us, uh, the storyline with when it comes to like the close up of the faces and stuff when you see the people talking compared to this game, mm. I think the games like the Last of Us rate higher. So I would give this one four when it comes four. to graphics. Four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can agree on that. We'll give that one four. Okay. Um. So what about... Let's just jump into this next one, yeah? Storyline. Yep. Ooh, this, is, was, this one was a bit up and down for me, I would say. Yeah, it was. So we have main missions, so we had side missions. Yeah. Um, I would say that... Side missions are always good, because it's, it's, it kind of links to the main story. It's not really a part of the main story, because you're doing you know, different things that kind of connect to the main story. Um, especially sometimes when you do a side story, it will interact somehow or another with the main story. Um, you will always progress in the storyline if you do side missions. Um, so I w the side, side missions I like, some better than others. For example, the liberation missions uh, I, I really liked. Uh, literally just going to a place and liberating the people by killing uh, or, or destroying um, an enemy's base. Um, so that was really good. I would say for the main mission could have been a bit better. Um, I think sometimes it dragged on for a long time. Obviously it's a massive game so it takes a long yeah, time to finish. But uh, for example uh, Faith, uh, the woman, her missions <laughs> were a bit annoying. Yeah, her, her missions and storyline was a bit annoying because 
You could be walking in the middle of a mission or, or going somewhere having fun and all of a sudden she can literally summon you uh, <laughs> into one of her missions where you dropped out. Um, so I didn't really like that. Uh, what do you think, Kev? What did you th uh, yeah, think about that? Yeah, I agree on that one because the problem about that is that the game starts to load for five minutes. And <laughs> yeah. Then you're like in the middle of it and then it just takes it out and loads the game. Um, yeah. I thought... Yeah, the main the main missions started really well, and then I got a bit confusing here and there. <laughs> um, yeah, but I like the side missions. I like that the fact they has so many different varieties, so you were never True. bored. Basically, it was True. always stuff to do. You That's could good. Uh, yeah, you can just speak to a random guy in the street and get a mission basically. So it's pretty huge in that sense, and then it did yeah. link like you said. To the main storyline because you progressed in the bar of that yeah. region so yeah you became more unpopular you can say and more people came to hunt you down so uh, in that sense it's good the storyline if you have to give it a total rating what would you give it mister considering everything we talked about it's uh i'm stuck kind of torn in the middle of is it really good or not the only thing that's dragging me down is the main storyline so i'm gonna give mm. it three and a half stars yeah out I, can of see five. That. I can see that so i gave it uh, a three out of five i did i did mm -hmm. it was a bit yeah i'm kind of similar all over yeah. the place kind of torn in the middle uh, <laughs> i did enjoy <laughs> is our so what we're we saying what we're we landing on three or three and a half we can go three. Let's go three. We we'll go three. Okay. Right in the middle. Yeah. And what okay. was next on the list? Yeah, let's uh, just jump to it. Um, the next one, like gameplay. Mm -hmm. You have uh, different things in there. You can ride the uh, cars. Um, a lot of different weapons. To be honest, you can adjust them. Um, style them. You can uh, use drive boats, planes, helicopters. You can do a lot of stuff and zip lines as well. So it's pretty cool. It's very mountain hard climbing. To travel. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's pretty cool that way. Fishing. Um, yeah, and then you can like recall reinforcements. Um, yeah. So it has a lot of stuff to do that you can do. What and what would you say the negative then? Um, that's more. We can talk more about in the co-op because the co-op gameplay had a few negatives, but the gameplay mm. in itself, like the camp campaign mode, the way you um, kind of control the character and the stuff you can do, I, I would say mm. it was pretty good. Yeah, uh, I agree. It's um. Well, first of all, if we talk about like how the game felt when you played it, it was easy mm. to is easy to control, manage, um, easy settings. Uh, even though sometimes I remember you uh, were trying to be quiet and you by accident pressed the wrong button and shot someone or shot at yeah. someone, uh, <laughs> indicating our our uh, hiding place. But uh, <laughs> besides that, easy to control, um, very good selection between all the things you can do with your weapon as you said um and like you can you know you could uh, you had perks so you can upgrade your character and um, and that would affect your gameplay you can select if you want hardened hardened bullets that could pierce through armors of cars for example army of cars you can select that in the in the in the in the, in the uh, weapon selection area and i would also say for example when it comes to interaction with other characters in the game which is i think were great um the, the driving was easy the heli flying helicopter was you, after a while you learn it i would say overall controlling it was easy and the gameplay wise connecting with that is so good because the expansion of things you can do is so vast Con if you compare it to for let's say um, battlefield where you also can I know it's a different kind of game, but it's yeah, also yeah. there fly, you know, tank, car, whatever. Mm. It kind of have that has that feel of you can just you have so much to pick from. 
and it, yeah, yeah. it and it's and it's easy to manage and control those things. It's not like one of the things you go and I think the hardest one of all is the helicopter. But after a while, it was quite easy to yeah, fly. You um, it. Yeah, it did. So I would say it was, it was. I like I liked the gameplay a lot. It was there was a lot of. It was easy. It was fun. So many options you could do. So yeah, I, I I liked it. It was one of my favorite things about the game. I would say. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, yeah, I agree with all those things you said. And uh, as you said, it's pretty vast the opportunities. So mm, yeah. Um, perk points and everything. It kind of reminds me a bit. If you've played Fallout, you can uh, adjust your character. Um, mm. can't remember what it's called now, but you can go into his uh, watch on the hand and yes, correct. Do all yeah. those abilities. Yeah. If you remember what it's called, give us a shout down in the comments. But, um, yeah, but below. Below. Um, but yeah, in total, what would you give the gameplay? This was up there. Uh, I'm almost, I'm, I'm considering giving it a five, but that's a very, that's like the highest, <laughs> like the best game yeah. ever played. Can't, can't give so I'm going to give it a so <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to give it a solid four. A very good solid, solid four. four. Yeah, spot on. It's exactly what I've written here, yeah, so... I'm gonna give it a four as well, so we don't need to compromise on that one. Both give it nope. a four. Yeah, good. Let's go to the next one, which is kind of the main one, the main topic of the things we do. Why we're all here, what we Why like to do, here. talk about. Exactly. Yeah. Play with our friends, right? Yes. <laughs> During COVID. Oh, my control. <laughs> Technical issues. Technical issues. My controller fell on the floor. <laughs> but yeah, you were saying you was you were talking about <clears throat> yeah, co-op the next mode. topic. There you go. The co-op mode. You have it. The most important thing, the reason why we play the games we play, me and Cap together, um, and why we review games. So the most important thing, co-op. I would say it's very good compared to many other games where you can only do kind of like fun little. Uh, arcade games or whatever you, you know like just literally where you could just you and you and the other person customize a map or something and a fight or shoot or whatever which game it is this one you can not only do that but you can also join a person in a campaign so you literally go on a story together on a journey together which i thought was the best part of the whole game it is why it's funny it's why you can you and your friend literally Go on adventure and experience different things. You need each other all the time. You rely on each other, uh, which is important for the like the, the fun part of the story mode. Um, as I said, as I said earlier, you can play with your friends FIFA. You can play with your friends Call of Duty when you just go out and shoot, which is fun as well. But there mm. are those kind of games you look forward to, where the ones you can go and do stuff, go on adventure, do campaign modes together. And this yeah. was one of them, and I thought it was very very fun to do. The negative wise, I know I think we kind of mm. stand on the same point neg on the negativity part of the of the campaign mode. You wanna take that? Yeah, you thinking about um weapons for example. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, so the one bad thing here is and it's also said in uh, other forums online about the game that if he joins me on my campaign he doesn't get uh, money for winning them so he can buy new weapons. Yeah. Uh, he can, uh, maybe you can buy it in your own campaign, but that doesn't really help our, our campaign. I, can, I, I, can only, I could only buy like this, the first simple weapons, the first few, like the, the normal weapons that, that comes kind of in the beginning of the game, but the special ones or the higher up ones, I couldn't yeah. buy them. So yeah. what did I have to do? <laughs> well, you had to be very good at the weapons you could get. That's one thing, <laughs> and uh, the workaround is basically the person who controls the campaign has to buy the weapons and just throw them out on the floor, and then you can <laughs> yeah, drop it. them. Yeah, I did. I, I didn't. I couldn't. Did we ever figure out a way for me to send you money? Because no. I don't think we did. That would be a good thing as well if the game had that option. Yeah. To send money, to send stuff, really send. You can send ammo. Yes. You can do that square. by pressing square. Yeah. That's just okay, but could have just added a cache. Simple code. <laughs> yeah. 
Definitely. Um, um, so yeah, I agree. I totally agree with everything you said. And uh, it was, I think, it was one of the major things that we were because we were liking it, loving it. Oh, this is great. And then when that part came, I was like, hey, I'm gonna buy a weapon. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> yeah. And and, you, really and you can also it. not watch uh, my or the missions, right? You can't select missions, etc. Which is no. kind of understandable because it's my campaign, but. Again, yeah. it would be nice if you could see them as well. I would say one thing that let I don't it, it can be this debated if it's a bad thing or a good thing. Um, it was in the beginning. I had to do a lot of main missions in the beginning of the game in order for me to play co-op with Cav. Oh, so yeah, I had yeah. to right. I had to go and play how did I don't know thirty minutes to an hour of the gameplay um, in the beginning. Yeah. In order for me to come to a part, and then I could save the game, and then I could join a co-op mode. Uh, yeah. But I, then you, but then you can debate. You know, that's a kind of you could say that they kind of want to, the game uh, is trying to give you kind of a tutorial how to do things in the beginning. Yeah, so be you, you know, you can debate if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Sometimes people just want to jump straight into the to uh, playing with a friend. So let's mm. say you bought it for the first time with your friend, and you're like, oh, let's do this. Actually, let's wait for a second. Yeah. I have to finish it an hour, and that sucks, kind of thing. But yeah, kind of kills the, the, yeah, exactly. And then the positive thing is, well, then you could say, yeah, but then at least you, I don't know, you could, you get a chance to go through the things and learn things together. But that you can do that with your friend. You you can learn things as you go with your friend. You don't have to do a beginning part. So I would say that's a. a I am actually thinking that's a negative thing personally, but it can be dependent yeah. on what. So let us know below as well. What did you think if you played it? Was that a thing that annoyed you, or do you think we could? Uh, it's actually a good thing that uh, that there's a, like a thirty minutes or an hour start to the game before you can do a co-op game with your friends. Yeah, co-op. It's tough this one. Tough really out of five. Yeah. Again, I'm torn it's in the middle. To be honest, I haven't really played that many games that it's this good co-op. That's a very good point. It has, it has, it's a lot of stuff. It's such a vast world. You can, it's, it's very, very close to GTA on that point where you can just be with your friend and play on a massive open scale game uh, map, you know, with lots yeah, of things yeah, you can yeah. do together. So it, it, that's a very good thing about the game, I would say. But in, um, in GTA, you can't do, well, you can do minor missions, like minor, mm. like it's like on a side mission, but it's not, you can't do main missions. If I remember correctly, you can't do main missions in GTA 5, which you can in Far Cry 5. So I think that's a massive plus. Yeah. Um, is it my turn? Should I say it? Yeah, you go first. My rating? Yeah. Um, I ended up... I could have easily given a 4 plus, but I've given it a 4. And 5. Cool. I, I think... I was I was on 3.5, but after what you said, the things you said, I... I and after talking, I, I, before the before we did this video, I was thinking three, and then we talked three point yeah. five. But now I'm on, <laughs> I think I'm on, I'm on four now. I, I, I yeah, because you, you think you think again, don't you? Like think okay, what yeah. other games is actually better than this? Cool. Yeah, exactly, exactly, definitely. Um, yeah. Okay. Four. What was saying? Four. four? Right. Yeah. Bang on four. What do we give this game overall in a rating? Uh, oh. that's the big question I would say if I start um, it's because it's unfair to compare it to other games which do not have co-op mob, co mode because that's what we're focusing on we're yeah. thinking and playing co-op games together so exactly. I can't just say I can't just say oh Final Fantasy is compared to that or I can't say it's compared to The Last of Us or whatever so it's unfair Really, the only thing I compared it with earlier was the graphics, but that's not you know, um, that's the only thing you really you can compare with other games. Yeah, you can, you can, yeah, I agree. Um, so comparing with other co-op games, I would definitely say it has the fun and vastness and expansion, like massive open world like GTA has. Yeah, it has the options of GTA and Battlefield where you can choose so many different vehicles, planes, mm. whatever. To do like have fun with it has the interaction with well actually i want to change my mind not many games has the interaction as this game has with the, with the other person like playing with the other person camp, uh, campaign wise 
Um, this has a re it's very good. It's very rare actually so far that I've played. It yeah, has this kind played, of yeah. good, this kind of good uh, interaction with the other player. The things you decide together, the things you do together. So overall, I would give it. What do you say, Kev? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, uh, can't decide. What do you? Let's let's hear what you say mm -hmm. first, and then maybe we can come to a com compare conclusion. Okay, I I I, I made a decision. I'm gonna give it a, a solid four. Solid. To make it a five, those things we talked about uh, earlier had to be improved in the new game coming yeah. out uh, six one. Better story, uh, better options for the second player who's playing. Yeah. Um, um, those small things, definitely, definitely. No, no. Well, for me at least, no intro in the beginning that it takes an hour for or in order for me to play the co-op mode. Yeah. Um, but again, see, these points. are these these are these are but these are not, you know, massive points. You know, but I really, oh my god, the game's horrible because of it. Mm. These are just but, points that we yeah, realize through the game. That's the annoying part, isn't it? Because it's small things. Could have it could have fixed it easily, I think. I uh, definitely. But yeah, I do agree in the grand scheme of things, it's not the biggest uh, worry if you're actually going to play and enjoy it. You will find it yourself enjoying this with a mate. 100%. So, um, you gave it a 4, I would give it... I gave it a 3.5, but it's definitely worth a 4. Come on, it's, it's, it's COVID times, come on, let's be more positive. <laughs> let's be come nice, on, let's, nice. let's, yeah, let's, let's push it up. Let's push it up. Alright, BOOM! Now, let's us know what you think in the comment section below tell us what you thought if you if you have played the game or if you are playing the game what you think so far and yep. also uh, give us a in a comment what you know of the things we talked about do you agree with the, the, the negatives and positives that we talked about yeah do you agree with the ratings give us your own ratings if you play the game we can uh... and if you have uh, anything else from the game that you want us to cover or oh, you yeah. have any questions about the game? Let us know as well in the comments. Yeah. Um, we'll and also, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah. And also, you know, if you want us to play, because we are thinking about it, we really want to talk about playing the new Far Cry Six when it comes out. So let us know if you want to if you want to see videos about that, so we can compare the two. And uh, yeah, uh, I think we are pretty happy with the overall game Far Cry Five. I think it was great. Is, is that a wrap for Far Cry 5? Yes, that's a wrap. Uh, we're going to jump into new games as well. We're going to look for more yeah. co-op games that we're going to play in the future. Um, if you have any suggestions of uh, games you thought, hey, is that a game that's good to play with your mates online? It can be simple action-packed games uh, where you just ask the Call of Duty, uh, games like that. Or it can be games like Far Cry 5 where there's a story to it. So let us know as well which game you think we should uh, look into. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe below and uh, because we have loads more videos coming out. So if you want to be notified of these videos, press that notification button as well. So don't miss out on anything that we're going to put out in the future. Definitely. And also, um, be uh, hope stay, yeah, stay safe as well during COVID. These are not the, the most Take care. happy times. But yeah, stay care and uh, see you next time. See you next time, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Far Cry 5 with DK Gaming. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And don't forget to press that like and subscribe button below and also turn on that notification button if you want to keep updated with our latest videos. See you next time. Adios.